Hey guys, Ovi here, and welcome back to our Python series. In this video, we're going to be learning about the try and accept case in Python, as well as how to comment our code. Let's get started. So the first thing we're learning today is the try and accept case. Now, the reason why programmers use the try and accept case is when you're running a piece of code where you're not sure if the results are going to be there, you're not sure if it's going to function right, maybe you're calling data from a website, maybe you're calling an API, and you're not sure if the API is going to give you some data, maybe the API is broken, you want to put all of that code in a try and accept case. Word for word, it's very straightforward. If the code in your try part doesn't work, it's going to default back to your accept case. So let me go ahead and show you an example of how this works. I'm going to go ahead and say try, and then if name greater than three. Again, we haven't defined name, so obviously this code is going to give us an error. If name is greater than three, print hello. Otherwise, I want to say accept print, there's something wrong, something wrong with your code, please check again, okay? So hit enter and we get there's something wrong with your code, please check again. And the reason for this is because when Python was executing the try part of our code, it realized that, hey, name is not defined, this code is faulty, so it defaults back to the accept case and it prints out the statement. So again, guys, try and accept, the concept itself is very, very straightforward. You're having basically an if and else. It's like, if this code works, that's great. Otherwise, if there's something wrong with this code, then go ahead, go to the accept case and run that. So that's try and accept. Now the second thing in Python is commenting. So if you have single, so if you guys don't know commenting, commenting is basically when you're writing a lot of code, you wanna be able to put comments throughout so that any other programmer who takes over your code or any other person who sees your code should be able to understand what's going on. When you make big projects, you'll have a lot of functions, you'll have a lot of various things going on. So that's why it's always good practice to comment your code. So to do single line commenting, where it's just one line that you wanna comment, you use shift three or the hash symbol. So this, and then you can go ahead and type whatever, this is a comment, and that is a comment in Python, okay? Now, you don't really use comments in console per se, but when you're writing code in files, for example, our hello world.py file over here, if I do something like this, this is a comment, that's perfectly fine. That's what we want to do. This is how you put comments in your files. The second way to do comments in Python, multiple lines is using three quotation marks. For example, what I can do is I can say three quotation marks, and then I can say, this is a comment, it's multiple lines, this is great, okay? So Python is taking all of these lines as a comment each one as just one giant comment, and then I can go in and close my comment, putting three quotation marks. If I had enter, I get, this is a comment, it's multiple lines, this is great. While this output won't normally be there in a file, it's basically showing you how you can do comments in Python. I'll go ahead and do it here again. So you have three quotation marks, and then this is a comment, it continues, um, hello, okay. Just like that, where you put three quotation marks in the beginning, three quotation marks in the end, this is your multi-line comment. Anyways, that's it for this lecture, guys. I'll do a quick recap. Quite short, we had the try and accept case where you try something out. If your code works, that's great. If there's a bug, if there's an error, then it goes to the accept case and it runs the accept case. Second of all, commenting. With commenting in Python, you use a hash sign or shift three for single line comments. And then for multiple line comments, you use three quotation marks write your code or write your comment and then three quotation marks to end it. Anyways, hopefully all of this made sense to you guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.